Hey everyone, we get to talk about Skyward Sword HD. Hold on. Oh, just kidding. I was just holding my my sword, Skyward. It's actually a Wind Waker like foam replica thing from I got from GameStop a long time ago. Anyways, so I am a big fan of Skyward Sword. All right, you don't believe me, I'm sure, because one, most of you probably didn't know me back in the 2000 and. Gosh, what was it, 11 days? Man, back at Zelda Informer over like a decade ago, you guys probably didn't know who I was because uh, I was not here and this channel was not that big. But the thing is, when I tell people that Skyward Sword lands in my top five Zelda games of all time, people think I'm just joking and a fake fan. Well, let me show you some stuff that I got that ain't so fake. First off, I got this bad boy here. You see this? This is Link. This is Skyward Sword Link, one of those, I think a first four figure... Uh, one, not like the super $400 one. Got to be careful because the Master Sword actually broke on him once. And then technically I have this bad boy laying around as well, Skurvo. Uh, he he kind of looks like this. The problem is uh, he's like in pieces and broken and I got to super glue him back together. So he's, he's back uh, in the back office. Anyways, point is I really love Skyward Sword. It originally released on Wii. You could get a collector's edition with the gold Wiimote. It was motion control Zelda. And to this day, it's one of my favorite control schemes in Zelda, the motion controls, even though it wasn't 100% perfect, of course, because motion controls were not perfect back in the Wii days. They're still not really perfect today, although much better with some of the VR stuff going on. But we now know Skyward Sword HD is coming uh, and looks utterly fantastic. If I'm completely honest, at least in terms of what they're doing with it, we're talking 1080p, we're talking 60 FPS, we're talking allowing you to use a traditional controller, uh, like this bad boy here. You know, it's a third party controller, but traditional button controls using the right analog stick here to uh, uh, swing the sword with free motion. Fine. I'm, I'm all good with offering options, even though I think the controls are going to be better uh, motion wise this time around because. Motion control seems more accurate from my experience in the Switch than it ever did on, on the Wii or even the Wii U, which then again just used Wii controllers for that and Wii Remote Plus. So I'm excited, and I'm going to be getting those Zelda Joy-Cons because I just happen to actually need new Joy-Cons for my Switch. So why not get the Zelda ones? I'm a Zelda guy, despite this Mario hat. I mean, look at this. I even got like a, look at this, what is this, a, a, a Wind Waker, um, Princess Zelda, maybe you want to say Phantom Hourglass Spirit Tracks, like valentine's heart shirt i mean come on i'm a big zelda fan all right i mean i got this little gotcha ball someone sent me uh for zelda stuff too although i think i have all three of these there's uh there's actually a potentially we're looking at uh maybe even skyward sword zelda in this one because it could be skyward sword zelda uh toon link or zelda from ocarina of time anyways the point is we're talking about skyward sword hd because we have our first actual look at sales data. There's been a lot of debate over whether or not this game is worth $60. Now, I did a whole video on that. In fact, watch it above. I just did it yesterday. We talked about uh, some new rumors and reports out there about Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD coming to Switch, which, by the way, I don't really need a rumor or, like, actual people telling me it's coming. Um, they were on Wii U. Nintendo's bringing everything over from Wii U. 35th anniversary of Zelda. I think it was a given we were going to get those games anyways. But it wasn't a given we were going to get Skyward Sword HD. And they're selling it for 60 bucks with no new content. Slightly reworked uh, button-mapped controls. Uh, and, yeah. It's in HD. 1080p. 60 FPS. Please spend 60 bucks on this game when Bowser's Fury, 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury just came out. And Bowser's Fury is like a whole new six hour plus mode that could make that $60 worth it. Uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe have more content. So there's been all this debate about how Nintendo has actually been doing really well with the ports. Like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze aside, pretty much all Wii U, Wii ports, whatever, have had major things done to them uh, content wise or look-wise, uh, to make that $60 price seem a little bit more justifiable, which is, by the way, not what Nintendo used to do. Hence why Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD also released at $60 on Wii U back in the day. But here's the thing. Skyward Sword HD has some initial sales. Amazon has it currently rated as best-selling, right now, the number one selling game on Amazon. That's right. Skyward Sword HD shot up to the top of the charts literally in, what, a couple days? It didn't really take that long, did it? And it's probably going to stick around there for a while. Why? Because it's Zelda. Here's the thing. Skyward Sword, even though it released on a 100 million selling 
console, it released late in the console life. It released at a time that Nintendo had, <laughs> technically, already announced the successor. Sort of. They at least hinted towards it. Really didn't get fully announced until 2011, but... You catch my drift. Nintendo was already hinting at moving on. They had really slowed down. The only games that we really were getting back in the 2010 days were like ports of games that had already been released in Japan. Uh, this is where we got Xenoblade and Pandora's Tower and all that. But here's the thing. It was still a pretty good game, but people got sick of the motion controls. There was a lot of controversy with some of the reviews at the time because reviewers were confused. They were doing waggle, which like... That was a common thing on the Wii. You know, you could pretty much any motion control game, you could waggle through, and the people were complaining that waggle wasn't working right in Skyward Sword when, like, it deliberately shows you need to go like this. Uh, Skyward Sword actually had a really controversial reveal where the motion controls, due to um, interference from, you know, wireless devices, actually broke the motion controls during the first public showing of Skyward Sword, making the game not look great. Uh, so despite people saying it's much better on the show floor, it didn't really matter. Uh, things were not looking up for Skyward Sword, and despite having relatively critical, re you know, success in terms of reviews, it really had meandering sales when you consider how popular Wii was. And then you consider when Breath of the Wild came out as a launch game on a platform with no audience, and suddenly it's at 20 million in sales. Clearly, Breath of the Wild was the better direction for the future of the franchise, but. Skyward Sword is in an interesting position here with the HD version, besides it shooting to the top of the charts. Skyward Sword might be the only Legend of Zelda game to release on two platforms that sold over 100 million units. Think about that. Wii, original release. HD release on Switch, probably going to be a 100 million unit seller you know, by the fiscal year ending March 2022. Just think about that. That's really crazy. And I think it's actually going to sell extremely well this time around because Zelda is more popular than it's ever been. I think the fact that we're seeing Skyward Sword just shoot past everything, Monster to Rise, all the other games coming out, you know, it just, it doesn't matter. People are, are buying up Zelda like crazy. And why are they doing that? I mean, the Joy-Cons are pretty much sold out everywhere right now, all the pre-orders. Why? Because Zelda is so popular. I honestly think this is like a total shot in the dark. Skyward Sword HD might sell over 10 million units. And I want you to understand how crazy this is. Not only did the original game like barely crack 4 million, um, there hasn't been a single Zelda game to crack 10 million besides Breath of the Wild. So to consider that this game, an HD remake, or not even a remake, just an HD port, basically, of a Wii game, could end up selling over 10 million and be the second best selling Zelda game ever released is insane to me. We already have seen Link's Awakening, which was actually remastered for Switch or remade, depending on how you want to look at it, probably more remade than remastered. We've seen that game become the best selling version of Link's Awakening, but it wasn't a 3D traditional Zelda game. That was a top down Zelda game. This bad boy, this Link. This 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 boy right here is going to be carrying Skyward, Skyward Sword HD. Uh, and I, it's interesting, too, looking at that trailer and remembering, like, Breath of the Wild, just Link's movements in Skyward Sword look so stiff, right? Like, in comparison to Breath of the Wild, I'm not the only one that, that probably got that vibe. Like, definitely some old-school Zelda up in here. Anyways, you guys let me know. Uh, if you are, one, buying Skyward Sword HD, two, happy Skyward Sword HD is selling well, because I guarantee you there's people click-clacking down in the comments disappointed that people are even spending the money on this game. And three, I honestly want to know if you played Skyward Sword back in the day. And then four, will you be motion controlling or traditional controlling that bad boy? Um, I'm probably going to do both. I, I'm going to try out the motion controls because I actually enjoyed them back in the day. And if they're even better now, awesome. Uh, but also for convenience sake, probably like during live streams and I got to click clack away and stuff and I don't want to keep recalibrating. You know, I'll try to try the traditional controls unless I really hate it. There's a chance I hate using the right stick for the sword. I might prefer motion. So we'll, we'll, we'll cross that road when we get there. You know, we'll be live streaming it uh, when it comes out. First live stream here on YouTube. Follow-up streams will be happening over on Twitch. Maybe re-upload it to YouTube, too. Who knows? Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffinjits from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to raise your swords skyward and get ready for the release of Skyward Sword HD. Coming, what, July 16th, right?
Damn. Yeah. Four days after my fiance's birthday. A week and four days after mine. Catch you guys in the next video. Yes.